Meredith, you have to come see Dad. Oh, does he want more organs? He wouldn't say. He was too busy loving up on a tattooed 20-year-old. Is that upsetting you? You want to talk about it? No. No worries. I have a surgery to get to. Meredith, I can't deal with my dad. I'm too busy with my mom. Well, let's go. Doesn't seem so bad. Candy? Screw you. And your candy. She's terrible. All right. <sighs> Ever notice how my sister's a jerk? I, uh. Um... Yeah, give him your blessing. What a bunch of crap. You know, let him be happy. What about me? You know, everybody's making these huge life decisions, and they're not even considering how it'll affect me, how I'll feel. No, I'm supposed to be such a big part of their lives, and yet they're leaving me out of the conversation completely. You know, starting up new families and springing it on me, and it's already a done deal. No, hey, Lexi, guess what? Found a tatted up skank to be your new mommy. Hey, Lexi, I'm gonna have a baby. And you're just gonna have to be okay with that. You're saying your dad's having a baby? No, not my dad, Mark. Mark is having a baby. And he didn't even ask my opinion. He just clobbered me with it. Again. And he's leaving me behind. Again. So we're done. You know? We have to be. But I miss him. My dad's tatted up skank isn't the bitch. I am. Probably a good start would be to stop calling her a tatted up skank. Right. Thanks. For listening. Anytime. Just in time, Avery, scrub in and take the lead. That's okay. I just came by to tell you that you were wrong. Those uh, peanut butter cups got me nowhere. You're kidding. Guess you overestimated that Avery sparkle, huh? Where are you go? So, what's your plan? Sleep. <laughs> My plan for tonight is sleep. I'm gonna hit Joe's before heading home. You wanna come? I just need to crash. Yeah. No, I get that. Maybe tomorrow? For sure, yeah. 